Hello, hello! Welcome to another morning session. Uh, we're gonna look at what was initially episode 69, so that's actually... Let me write this here. I like to keep track of things. Uh, 69, it was, was, was... Ah, come on! Sci-Fi Series 7! Okay, so... I'm just gonna go and... Add it here. By the way, in case you're wondering uh, why sci-fi series 1 and 2 are in red, it's because I submitted them to a um, library who requires exclusivity. And I don't often do that, but this is a library, a pretty prestigious thing uh, in France. So, yeah. Uh, that's why they're with uh, an exclusive library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyword the shit out of my music. This is my checklist. I have a list of moods and styles um, that I print out, as you can see here. So I go through these lists and I type in keywords here, which will uh, here which will help me when I want to um, I wanna set them up in music libraries. Then I try to find related artists on Spotify, Google Play, whatever that, you know, they kind of sound like. And I try to put myself in the shoes of, you know, the music supervisor, what, what they might want to type in um, in the search engine. And also I try to be as specific as possible. So, for example, instead of just saying sad, I would say breakup, tears, divorce, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. This track has, I put two stars out of five. That basically means I think it probably doesn't have a huge chance, a huge earning potential on uh, in stock music libraries. Um, just because it's like sci-fi, soundtrack, ambient, atmospheric, and there's a lot of uh, competition. The catalogs are huge there because it, you know, it's music that's fairly accessible to anyone. You don't need to know how to um, to play an instrument. I actually play several instruments, but in this case, I only need my computer. So, fairly accessible to everyone. So, a lot of people doing it, which is awesome. Um, but you know, it's um, for that type of music. Uh, in twenty eighteen, the idea is to sell it directly to the customer to just meet with indie filmmakers who love doing, uh, you know, work in the sci-fi genre and working with them and probably not selling it as is because they want it to fit their score well, but, you know, um, showing them, you know, this is a basis, maybe I can develop it, I can have it fit in, in, in your, um, in your, on your image. A little hard because I like it. So let's listen to it.
too sure. I don't know. It's difficult to put a mood on this one. There's something positive about it, but also something pretty dark. So I'm just going with my gut. Adding those keywords and... I mean, some seem to contradict each other, but... Just don't have time to... It's not useful to second-guess myself anyway, so... I'm gonna keep going. Not sure. I don't think anyone who I, I had an image when I typed in sophisticated, uh, like this futuristic sci-fi thing. But I don't think anyone who typed in sophisticated in the in the search bar would be looking for this track. Positive, yeah. So, okay, let's go with usage.
the name? Is it uh, L? Cal. Uh, Nine thousand is it? It's the artificial intelligence in uh, two thousand one space odyssey. So I'm gonna add that. Again, um, you know, it's not going to be exactly the same type of music, but it's just to, if someone is looking for uh, Stephen Price, they're probably looking for the Gravity soundtrack, and then the the track that I'm working on, which is sci-fi, you know, has a futuristic outer space element to it might be a good fit. So when I say sounds like Stephen Price, I actually don't mean that it sounds exactly like his music. It's just that if you think of Stephen Price, you think of Gravity. And if you think of Gravity, you think of sci-fi, outer space. Um, actually, it's not science. Well, it is science fiction, I guess. But anyway, you think of that kind of uh, ambient atmospheric soundtrack, which you know corresponds to what I'm working on. Theodore Shapiro. Let's see. What's he up to? Wow, he did the... Nice.
actually just wondering if we do the Matrix soundtracks. Oh, they were using a uh... License to oh, he's with the position music. Okay. Um Right, so I have a couple of sounds like I have lots of keywords. So I'm going to leave it in that and move on to uh, the next track. I think makes sense. All right, I'll uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments um, section or you know, Joyce at madlastmusic dot com or Joyce at creative and productive dot com. I have many email addresses. So, all right, madlastmusic at gmail dot com. Wherever you know, you can pretty easily get in touch with me. So, if you want to hear more of my music, it's madlastmusic dot com. If you want to learn more about music licensing, it's creativeandproductive.com. So maybe see you there. In any case, I'll have another video for you ready tomorrow. Bye-bye.